Hello everyone, welcome to Yorks Gamer. And um, today, uh, and literally today, I'm going to try and build this kit, HMS Huron 1944. Doing this as a live tweet as I'm going along. It's 10 a.m. on Friday morning, and uh, this is the start. And uh, got a piece of MDF, 22 by 6, uh, 3 mil uh, deep, specially cut for me by uh, war bases. And uh, live opening of the box here. And I'm not going to go through any of the processes in amazing detail. I'm just going to do very, very short clips as I go along. So just proof here that uh, I haven't done anything with this before. We've got the uh, usual fantastic trumpeter uh, course colour guide, we've got our instructions, we've got the bits of hull which are all wrapped and sealed as you can see and then we've got the various sprues which are all sealed. So I'm going to come back and do little videos uh, as we go along during the day, not going to concentrate on content um, etc. I am just going to show you the finished stages, very much in line with the stuff that I am going to tweet out uh, as I go along during the day. So, I'm going to start with the base and I'll see you all in a bit. Nice quick start. Um, it is 10.14 uh, and uh, what I've done is I have uh, glued the waterline base to the MDF and I have uh, sculpted the C using this ready to use polyfiller. It's in a couple of my videos. And uh, I need to get this dry pretty quick if I'm going to do this in a day. So this is going to go on a radiator with a giant weight on it. Uh, as you can see, there's a slight bend in it already, uh, which is fairly common. Um, but it's going to be a bit of a um, a job trying to keep it, um, it from uh, bending during the course of the day because normally I'd leave this overnight to dry with a heavy weight on it but we're trying to do it in a day so let's stop chatting and get on with the next stage so the next thing I'm going to do while this is drying I'm going to build the kit into small sections so I'll see you probably in an hour I would think Okay, so it's uh, midday now, just before, and uh, part three uh, is done. And uh, as you can see, I have built the kit uh, in uh, various little sections. Uh, the, uh, the main hull is hidden away there. Uh, I've done that just so I can uh, paint it and weather it a lot easier. And uh, I'm just going to have a cup of tea, and then I'm going to do my nails. So I shall see you shortly. Very quickly, uh, next stage, uh, I've done my nails, as you can see, and each of the individual sections of the ship have been uh, blue tacked onto the head of a clout nail, uh, so that makes it a lot easier for me to airbrush. Uh, so, let's get priming. Next quick update is that uh, I have done the priming, just waiting for that to dry, and while that's drying, there's no rest for the wicked, uh, because the base that I started on earlier is now dry, having sat on the radiator for a couple of hours, got a bit of heat through it and it's all solid. Uh, so I'm going to start painting that while I'm waiting for that to dry. And we are 13.04. Sea base is painted now and uh, my process is in other videos. It's in uh, building the Bismarck uh, 2, 3 and 9 if you want to see how I do the bases. Uh, and there's the colours, miniature paint, navy blue as a base. And then I'm dry brushing dark blue, dark pale, uh, dark blue grey and ivory as a top coat. The base isn't finished by any stretch of the imagination, but that's all I'm going to do at the moment. And I'll just drop down. You can't, yeah, you can just tell it's starting to bow a little bit in the middle. And that's because I've... Uh, speeded the process up and I've dried it on a radiator etc uh, so I'm going to stick that under some heavy weights because uh, I'm not going to do anything more on that until the very end of the build and uh, I'm going to get on with priming the ship next. Just gone three o'clock and after a short break uh, to have a little bit of a lunch and another brew uh, I have 
uh, sprayed the deck with dark non-slip grey colour and the uh, the rest of the ship with a light admiralty grey mixed with a little bit of white. Uh, I don't like using full white on ships. I think it looks too stark uh, and I much prefer this uh, as I've got for a light colour. So uh, while I've been doing that, excuse for shaky cam, uh, I did the Art Royal uh, painted the side of that up at the same time so uh, next thing i'm going to do is hopefully fingers crossed i've left this long enough and i'm going to do the masking tape and put the uh, scheme on and i'm going to go for something similar to this with a dark gray and uh, the, a mid green uh, we're kind of post western approaches colors here uh, but i do have something in the box that is similar so i'm going to use that uh, to for that because it's got German field grey that grey there I'm pretty sure that isn't what the uh, the British used on the ships so uh, we'll be back when we've done the masking so back again with the next stage we're just going quarter past four now and um, I've uh, I'll zoom in and I've masked off all the areas of the ship sprayed on um, Amulty dark grey and uh, MS three I think it is the green. Um, just to approximate that scheme over there because uh, I'm not sure on the green with that but I've got an official green on mine and um, it's been dry brushed as well and it's going to go downstairs now because it needs to have a coat of gloss varnish uh, and this is going to slow things down quite considerably I can't do it without this I can't do the weathering without that so um, gloss varnish it is see you shortly it's about quarter to six now and um, i've put weathering on the base and the hull and the deck and uh, it's going to come together very very quickly now after a long day working on it so there we have it six o'clock that's a full working day and we are so close to finishing uh, i will finish this off today a little bit later on but i'm just going to take a short break uh, everything on on bar the lifeboats and uh, dinghies and the main mast so uh, a pretty decent job and uh, like the look of it already still got uh, the sea to finish off and it'll need a, a matte varnish as well so uh, i'll be back a bit later on so here we are at the next stage and there's only one more stage to go now so what i've done is i've finished off all the detail uh, so if we look in there we've got ships boats on now uh, we've got all the dinghies etc and the mast they've all been put on and weathered um, and then using uh, this stuff just zoom out AK uh, varnish matte varnish uh, I'm new to spray varnish normally I would brush varnish uh, but I was finding with the earlier ships that I did that it was too difficult to do uh, and not have boats and stuff pinging off everywhere uh, so I've gone to spray varnish for this and as you can see it's quite matte um, I think it uh, I think it's all right that looks the business so I've just got one more thing to do uh, to finish it off and that's this stuff uh, the good old AK water foam just to finish the the base off um, and I put that on after the varnish because I like to keep the shine on the water foam uh, rather than dulling it down and it's got like a little like a miniature foam of, well it's, it is a foam effect isn't it and I found when spraying the varnish on it it kind of pops the bubbles if you like um, and uh, it just becomes flat white paint and looks a bit shit uh, so uh, that's where we're going to go next um, so we'll be back with the finished model very very soon so here we go it's 0201 saturday the 4th of march don't worry i have worked shifts all my life uh, so normal hours are not something i understand uh, here is the finished model i'm just going to sweep down the side of it and uh, very happy with how it's come out i'm very happy with my technique with c etc i think uh, now the green has been weathered uh, i think that looks the business as well i was a little bit unsure that it was uh, a little bit faded but you know these ships are out in the sea uh, no hiding from sunlight under an umbrella or anything so i'm happy with faded colors i'm happy with the way the weathering has worked with the green 
and um, how the uh, pennant numbers have dulled off as well. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is zero uh, two zero two, Saturday the fourth of March. Um, there is the finished Huron. I will do some proper pictures to put at the end of the video, and I'll probably do a blog post as well, uh, just chatting about my thoughts of uh, what's happened. Apologies for the shaky cam throughout this. Um, I've just done it as it's happened and uh, with me uh, doing it as a live feed if you like or semi live feed uh, I didn't want to be messing about with cameras and lights and stuff so I've just filmed it on my phone as it's happened so I hope you've enjoyed that um, I hope you stayed with it it shows you the process and uh, how long it takes uh, so don't offer me 20 quid for one because I'll tell you to do one <laughs> all right see you later see the